It's time for another It's All Been Done Radio Hour. This week, we've got the Top Notch Tangler and Day in the Life of Carson. First, we want to thank Circle 270 Media, which this podcast is a part of. We want to thank Mad Lab Theater, our host site. Next show on June 6th, hopefully in the theater. If not, it'll be live streaming on YouTube. If you follow us on social media at IBD Presents, we'll keep you up to date with what's going on. We also want to thank our parent network, It's All Been Done Presents, found at IBDPresents.com. It's got written work, video series, and more. Uh, the podcast Dirty Story Night is back with new episodes after an 18-month hiatus. So check out new episodes of Dirty Story Night. Now enjoy! This Top Notch Tangler episode. Next, we have the Top Notch Tangler, A Day in the Life of Carson. As we begin, we're in the middle of a bar fight. Keep in mind, this is just slightly before Carson acquired his superpowers. Break it up! Now, just break it up! Oh, I'll break this guy, the low life. <laughs> you couldn't break a beer bottle on a stone floor. Could so. Could not. Could so. Could really, not. you are out of control. Officer, you're out of stop then. I'm trying, sir. Would you two just knock it off? Well, her first. He started it. I don't care who started it. I'm ending it. Oh, I'm going to end this guy right here and right now. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Well, I wouldn't. I want to see you both stop your fighting. Lieutenant Smith, where is that backup? It's coming, Officer Urata. Oh, good, because this scumbag needs to be brought to justice. Scumbag. There is no need for name calling here. If you guys were- I'm here. Lieutenant Smith, right? The newbie? Yes, sir. Smith, would you mind filling me in on just what the heck is going on here? I was told there was a dispute between Polly and one of her neighbors. Well, sir, Officer Urata and I arrived on the scene to find these two duking it out. Uh, Yes, sir. I stepped in the middle and I nearly got my throat cut. This gal was waving around a broken bottle like a maniac. You're the maniac. Shut up! You're a maniac yourself! Well, I'm glad you're not gushing blood, Officer Urata. I wouldn't want to lose our best bowler. Uh, yes, sir. I, I can't let down the team. I love bowling. Would you want to Oh, not the time, to... Lieutenant Smith. Uh, so, why are these two causing such a ruckus? Uh, well, sir, you see... Uh, Randall here done stole my no, gator. I didn't steal no gator. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, no, you I dirty, didn't. rotten gator thief. You call me a thief one more time and I'll kill you, Polly. Do you see what I mean, whoa, sir? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one is killing anyone. Who ever heard of an alligator in Tip Town? You don't have many? No, we do not. Mm, good point, Yurata. A gator is pretty rare around these parts. Polly, what makes you think Randall stole yours? Well, he came over to borrow some stuff. Shortly after he left, I noticed my gator was missing. It had to be him. It wasn't me. It was so. We'll oh. get to you, Randall. Now, Polly, what did Randall ask to borrow? Uh, sir, I don't see why that matters. Officer Urata, if you ever want to make detective, you got to get all the facts. No detail is too small. You never know what information you need until you don't have it. Thank you for the lesson, sir. We'll make sure to take it to heart. Yeah, absolutely, sir. So, Polly, what did he ask to borrow? I mean, I don't know. We want to... You shut your mouth, Polly. You don't tell him nothing. Open your mouth, Polly. What did he ask to borrow? Ah, oh, jeez. He wanted to borrow a machete, a tarp, some bleach... Some lime, a shovel, and a lantern. But I don't see what that has to do with my gator. Oh, I told you to shut up! You ain't my boss! Sir, the items he listed are typically used when disposing of a body. Yeah. Who did you kill, Randall? Where is the body? Whoa, whoa, Your Honor, calm down. Just because he has to borrow those things doesn't mean he killed someone. Maybe he was just doing some gardening? Mm. That doesn't seem likely. No, actually, yeah, I was going to do some gardening. Night gardening, as a matter of fact. Sir, you can't actually believe that. Oh, you're right, I keep it professional. Sorry, sir. Randall, say I do believe you. For now. The better question is, why does Polly just happen to have all that stuff? <laughs> uh, well, you know, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Uh, I, I, I garden, too. <laughs> really? Because I drove by your place on the way here and I didn't see a garden on your property. You own all that gator stuff and in the possession of a gator reminds me of a cold case from years back. Ooh, he got you now. You shut up. <laughs> you shut up. Oh, both of you quiet down. I'm trying to think. 
What was that case? Was it the case of the hooded hoodlum? What about the case of the blind bandit? The perturbed prowler? The bored burglar boy? The ye- yogurt yahoo? The preteen peeper? No, no, it wasn't a supervillain at all. It involved a stolen reptile, underground gator fights, and a missing old man. <laughs> you think I stole my gator? You're crazy. I don't know nothing about no underground gator fights, and I certainly didn't, un- I didn't steal old man Terry's gator. Hmm. I never said his name was Terry. Polly turns to Bolt, but Urata and Smith catch her between them. <laughs> Serves you right accusing me of things. <laughs> Don't be laughing too hard, Randall. Smith cuff him too. Yes, sir. Yeah, they got you too, Gator Thief. What, 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 why me? Yeah, sir, I don't get it. Why him? Randall, you're under arrest for the theft of Polly's pet. I noticed you have gator-shaped chew marks on your peg leg. Oh, what? No, that's uh, that's just from a dog. You know, I, I, I definitely don't run any underground gator rings either, so... Oh, don't try to fool me, mister. I know a gator's teeth marks anywhere. Oh, dang nabbit. Drop the bottle, Randall. Polly, seeing Randall's arrest as just the distraction she needs, pulls out of Yurata's hands and, in one smooth motion, grabs the broken bottle from Randall and stabs Officer Yurata in the leg, right through her femoral artery. <laughs> Got her. Yurata, no! Carson pulls off his taser and zaps Polly to the floor. <laughs> Damn fool getting tased. Nice work, Carson. Yurata, stay with me. Officer Yurata. Officer Smith, get Polly and Randall to processing. I've got Yurata. Will do, sir. Is she going to be all right? I don't know. Tell my wife I... I... Never liked her stuffing. <laughs> Too dry. <laughs> You're right. Of- no! <laughs> it never gets any easier. But you gotta put a smile on every day. <laughs> and just like that, <laughs> Lieutenant Adam Carson solved two cases and lost a friend in one afternoon. Just another day in his life. It's Solve and Done Radio Hour number 234, The Top Notch Hangler number 32, A Day in the Life of Carson, was written by Shane Stefanchik and directed by Kristen Green. It starred Joe Morales as Carson, Katie Boisenault as Smith, Kristen Green as Urata, Shane Stefanchik as Randall, and Diantha Hillebrand as Polly. It was narrated by Chris Allen with Foley artist Seamus Talty. It's All Been Done Radio Hour was created by Jerome Wetzel. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchik. Our music director is Kristen Green. Our podcast editor is Chris Allen. Theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley. And our script editor is Keith Jackson. Please check out our website, it's allbeendoneradiohour.com, and don't forget to go to patreon.com slash IABD. That's patreon.com slash IABD. Please donate it. I'll stop plugging it for the love of God. Get us to $100, please. Thank you. Have a great week. You couldn't break a beer bottle on a stone floor. Oh, my screen just went black. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, I, I garden. I garden too. <laughs> Very convincing. It's all been done. Presents. Who's got the time?